All right, BC, we are back again. All right, this time we're going to go over how to edit the stadium information and then how to take a stadium and apply it to a team. So we're going to do that. Disregard my daughter in the background going crazy. All right, so the first thing you want to do again is, well, today I opened up NBA 2K and I had an update. So if your 2K ever updates, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you take that EXE that I had gave you and replace the exe that got updated on the 2k directory so what i did was my game just updated so i close it out i always go back into my directory find the exe now it had the date of today um but what i do is i usually take the one that that gets updated and i'll make a folder called patches and i'll put the patches in each one so here's the one from today that got updated then once i take that one and move it out i just take my old one from uh, exe 1.05 and drop it back in so now my cheat tables and stuff and everything will still work and my roster will still work correctly all right so make sure you do that if you notice something that's not working right with cheat engine like stuff not loading up make sure you you using the 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 uh, 1.05 exe that i gave you in the little uh zip all right so got my junk updated so we're good to go let's open up 2k this should be a little bit quicker because there's not much stuff you need to change here. We got 2K open. We're going to go ahead and open up the stadium info cheat table. There's also something I forgot to tell you about the team info one. So I'll go over that one when this is done. All right. So we got 2K opened up. Turn my controller on real quick, quick, quick. <laughs> All right, so the first thing you want to do is, again, open up 2K, open up Cheat Engine. When you open up Cheat Engine, select the process that Cheat Engine is going to be looking at, which is 2K20. You'll know it's working because all these items will fill in for you. All right, so now that they filled in, you got to open up your roster. I didn't download, I deleted the roster, so I'm going to have to redownload it real quick. So I'm going to go to create roster, search by online ID. I'm going to do Rob Davis. Oh, that's together, my bad. I'm gonna find the black fives. I'm gonna download it. Do, 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 do. All right, so now I got the roster. I'm gonna press B. I'm gonna save the roster back to my system. I'll call it black fives. Bam. All right. So now that I got the roster saved, you won't have to do this again because you already downloaded the roster from the first video. So now that I got it saved, um, if I'm starting this tutorial over from the beginning, when I go to open up the roster, I'm going to go to create roster. I'm going to use a created roster and I'm going to find a local version. So now it's on my computer. So now I'm going to open it up. Now, once I open it up again, Calvary Buffalo Soldier. So you notice it's still working, right? That's all there. So now what we need to do is we need to edit the... Now again, once you got the roster open, you can minimize it. You don't need to see it no more. So now we need to edit the information about the stadiums. So what I'll do is I'll go over everything that you need to worry about changing. And then from there, you can go ahead and just make all your changes. All right. So we selected the process. We're going to open up the stadium. So again, this starts off at Philly and goes in order. So uh, uh, Philly, Bucks, Bulls. So it kind of goes like that. Celtics, Lakers. So you'll kind of know, but it's based on the order that the that the uh, teams are in. So if you're doing, if you're looking at it like this, that's the order. But if you mess up something in here, you can always change a, a field to bring it back. If you always mess something up, so don't worry about messing stuff up really. All right, so we got that open. So we know we're gonna be we're gonna be messing with the Calvary Buffalo Soldiers. We know this Philly, so we know they play out of Wells Fargo Center. So we're gonna hit the box here to open that up. And then what we can do is uh, uh, the dude that made the table added this little option so you can get rid of all this stuff up here that you don't need to see. So if you press that, see how it just moved everything up. If I unclick that, it brings down this part here. Feel free to do that. That way you can see all of the stuff in one screen. You don't have to stretch it out all across to like two monitors if you got two monitors. All right, so now that we got this open, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rename the arena here. So I don't know what your arena names are. 
So I don't know what arena they would have played in. So we're gonna just make something up again. This is just a tutorial. So, so we're gonna say they played in Buffalo Arena. So that's the very first thing you wanna change is the stadium name. So we're gonna change the color. We're gonna do what we did last time. So let's do red. The next thing you wanna do is the nickname. So I usually do these the same. So I'll do Buffalo Arena, I'll copy that. Double click here, I'll paste that. So we got Buffalo Arena, Buffalo Arena. So that's the next thing you wanna change. The next thing you wanna change is the city. So what city is that out of? So I'm assuming this is the city here. So we'll put that. I'm gonna change that color. All right, so the next thing is the Dornas. I would say leave this field alone and just use the team Dornas for now, and then we'll go. Oh, well, you said they didn't have, they didn't have like, um, you know, Dornas and stuff back then. So for now, just leave this alone and we'll decide what we're going to do with it. So just don't worry about changing that. Uh, but we will have to eventually do something with it. So we're going to just highlight it. All right, LED is the. This is going to depend on the arena, but in each arena, there's an LED banner that goes across at the top for different arenas. We may have to change this for now. We're going to leave it the same, so don't worry about that for now. But we will have to do something there. All right, so this is going to be your arena file. So the arena file is basically what arena this stadium is looking at. So arenas are start with the letter S, and then they have the three digits after them. So for Philly, Philly's arena is S000. Again, for the sake of keeping it simple, we're not gonna change this. So every arena is gonna have the exact same number. When you make your arenas, we're just gonna name them the number of the teams that we want the system to look at. So for right now, we're gonna leave this the same. We're not gonna change that. All right, floors. Um, floors is a little different because there are certain floors in a game that actually might be arenas and floors in a game that um, that the game may change depending on an update. I can't remember which arenas that was. Let me see if I still got it. All right, so the arenas that the game changes is Clemson, um, Clemson, the Chicago Bulls. So the Chicago Bulls S003. You may edit that and it may not work. Don't take my word on that because when I first did my mod, these arenas didn't work. I had to make a, I had to use a different arena number. So the Bulls didn't work back then when I first made this mod. The Celtics, the Jazz, the Mavericks, the Spurs, the T Wolves, the Warriors. So those are the teams. That didn't have the default number like if i'm looking at the, the warriors the default number should have been s029 i had to use s067 because when i edited the game it wouldn't load up my custom arena for some reason so it's the way that they do updates in 2k so for now let's leave this stuff alone let's leave the floor file and arena file the same and once we start to you know, really get into it then we could decide if we need to change it or not your um, alternate floor file, let's go ahead and make this blank. So if yours has something there already, just completely blank it out. Um, so if it has something, just, just wipe it, make it blank. City abbreviation is just the abbreviation of the city. So uh, I'm guessing, but I'm gonna just put put that. <laughs> but that this is stuff you are gonna be able to change. This, the state I'm assuming is VT. So we're going to do VT right there because I just got this from right here. Arena capacity, that's just a number that's going to be displayed up to you if you want to change it. So I'll let you decide that, but that is a field that you can change. So I'll highlight it. Arena ID, leave that the same. Don't touch that. Actually, no. Your arena ID, make this 84. So your arena ID is going to be 84. You want to change that because if you don't, it's going to mess it up when you load up these custom arenas. Music probability, I put mines on zero because I was trying not to have music play in the arena, but I don't think it really affects anything. But it's up to you if you want to change it or not. 
crowd loudness i put this at 100 does it affect anything i have no idea but i just changed it <laughs> um your sound id put this at 84 or it will be saying stuff related to the original arena in the game so make sure you change the sound id to 84. The type of team, just leave that to normal. Our bench is swapped. This is up to you if you want to swap the benches to home and away team. That's completely up to you. I'll leave it, Mark, but that's up to you. The location type, I usually change this to indoor day and night. Um, I It may affect the lighting in the arena, but that's just what I do. So I'll just say for the sake of being safe, just make it indoor day and night. Uh, my back, my court backboard, my court, my court, my court. That stuff doesn't matter. I don't think you need to change them. But if you want to set them to none, set them to none. But I don't think that's not gonna matter. My team theme does not matter. My court walls does not matter. Alternate floor ID. Um, you can change this to be zero. Right now it has. These are your options. You can pick. Just put zero in there. That way it doesn't have any alternate floors pop up that you're not that you don't want. So just make that zero. Basketball type and crowd type, make sure these are NBA and default. And that's really it. This is some other custom user arena stuff that you don't have to touch. So don't worry about those three. So that's it. Um, make sure you do that for every arena. These fields here that I have highlighted do that for every arena and just keep going down a list so again if i'm doing american legion post i'm gonna go down here to the bucks and i'm gonna start over boom 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 doing everything like that so again so for example if you look at the alternate floors here the bucks have an alternate floor see how they have an alternate floor so just wipe i will wipe that out i would just say boom get it out of there and then they have an alternate floor so just follow this up here. Most of the stuff you won't be changing. We'll figure out what we have to do with it afterwards. But again, you can always go back into the roster and open up this stuff and edit it. So after you get it done editing everything, you can get out of here, uncheck your stuff, get it back looking clean, go back into 2K, and you're gonna save the roster. Save raw, save it as your whatever you named it when you downloaded it from me. Now, when I go back in here, if you look at the stadium data, see how I went back to Wells Fargo? And when everything went back to Philly? If I go here, go to create roster, go to Black Fives, that stuff changed over. The only thing that didn't that, that changed over again is because this was marked. Anytime you leave this marked, it's gonna save that um it's gonna save the value in there. So just know if you do that, like if you try to open it up while you have something expanded like this, it will have that um, feel from the last thing it saw saved in there. So my advice would be to never have it checked while you're opening up the browser, uh, the roster. So if we go exit without saving. Let's open that roster up again. See how it went to Buffalo. Now if I open up Buffalo, bam, now everything, it didn't change. So just make sure you have you don't have this checked before you open up the roster. From there, man, just kind of go through, go all the way down to uh, I think it's I think this one is no, that's the All Star one. Go down to one of these is the so this is Washington. Go down to you see zero thirty. What is it? Zero thirty one. One of these is the all-star and one is not the all-star. So one is all-star. Where's the, where's the, that's the all-star. So it's two all-star arenas. This might be the Spectrum Center that you're looking for. No, where is the Spectrum Center? So that's the one thing. One of these is staple, so users are one no where is amway i'm trying to figure out which one is for the charlotte hornets because there's three spectrum centers but 
but they shouldn't be this is the team we got to figure out what what arena they play in i know they play in spectrum center but this is where you got to figure out which one it is 29 so 29 2 where's 31 Unless I missed it, unless it's over 15. Yeah, one of these is 31. You want to make sure that you edit in the right one. Here it is, right here. All right, so this is the Spectrum Center. Team number nine is the Spectrum Center that you want to edit. Don't worry about 14, 15, or one under C. So this is this is the actual Charlotte Hornets right here. So <clears throat> sometimes they kind of mix these up a little bit, but that would be the Charlotte Hornets that you want to worry about because I know they got three Spectrum centers. They use the same IDs for the All-Star game because, of course, the All-Star game was hosted there, so that's why. So once you got everything edited, the next thing that you want to do once you got all your teams changed over, the next thing that you want to do is take the ID here and apply it to the team that's going to use that arena so what you have to do is open up your team info one that I sent you when you open that one up select the NBA 2k20 keep the list so here's our capital so so let's minimize this this is a roster we're still, we're still in we know we're still in the same roster because See Calvary is still there. So minimize this. You can put the you can put these side by side if you want. Alright, so this is the arena for the Calvary right here. And this is the Calvary team. If you open up the Calvary team, if we scroll down, there is a stadium data field. We have to take this number here, the 7FF4C84211D0, and place that right here. Um with your mod, it should automatically be there because we're not changing any teams up. We're only using the first 30 teams, so the arenas and teams should match. Um, if we have to change some arenas, that's where we'll actually have to change this number. But I wouldn't worry about that right now. Just make sure the teams that are going together, the numbers are matching up. So this one actually matches up, so you're good to go. um that's pretty much it for now so go ahead and make sure you got all your team information done and when you're edit, if you do have to edit this the stadium data you just open it up leave the zeros and just take just the numbers so leave the zeros there and just replace the numbers out so if i was doing it and i had to replace something i'll leave the zeros and i'll start you know typing what i'm typing for that one um but that's pretty much it for now so do all the team information Again, you really shouldn't have to edit this because we're not really changing the arenas yet. But just so you'll know, that's how that works. Edit your stadium information. Make sure this stuff you edit in. It's only a really a few fields you're going to be editing. And then save your roster. Once you save the roster, just keep working. And every time you go back to work on this, you, you're going to want to make sure that you're opening up the roster, open up the cheat engine, selecting the process, and then starting to work there. The only other thing I want to tell you about was the team info regarding the logos. Um, what I did was I actually took all of these logos and made them the same. So I don't know if you want to do that on your roster if you already start working on it. But go back in and change both of these to be the same. Everything that has a logo in it. Put, put the actual logo, match the same logo up. So before I told you, you didn't have to worry about these two here. Go ahead and just put the, the logo in those last two boxes too. I did it on my roster and I kind of thought about like, oh, I forgot to tell him that. So go ahead and do those on the logos. Outside of that, man, you have any issues running to anything, um, pretty much let me know when you're good to go there and then we can start working on, you know, arenas. To be honest with you, the arena stuff gonna be hard trying to mix and match files, but whatever you got, I'll try to help you out as far as like finding, uh, you know, art and stuff like that. But any questions, let me know. Peace.